Hey Moglets, today we're doing a Bones 2 account review. We already kind of did one at AR45, but not really. It was more of a, just a topic about AR45 and if you should rush to it or not. But now that she's at AR50, actually she is technically at AR49 with um, a couple hundred points to go. So we're gonna do that real quick. She specifically saved this honor for me. So we're just gonna go over there and do a ley line. There we go, AR50. Let's head on over to Catherine, get our AR50 rewards. There they are. Very nice, and oh, there's a quest for AR-50? I forgot about that. I guess we gotta do that, honestly. If I remember right, this is not very easy. Before we do that, though, she did give me permission to go ahead and raise her Ayaka. She prepared everything in advance, as you can see here, to her sixth star. I don't know if I'm gonna get her up to 90 right now. As I've been playing with lower level characters and just gearing them up well, I've noticed level doesn't do that much especially from 80 to 90. It's such a huge case of diminishing returns, which I already knew about previously, but still, I think we're just gonna get her up to 85 for now. I think that that's a good middle point. Like it doesn't cost as much from 85 to 90, but you still get, you know, most of the boost, which is still almost nothing as you can see, as well as her mist splitter. She also prepared everything for this in advance. So we can go ahead and do that. I mean, here we get a pretty big base attack boost, I would say. I think I will go ahead and get the weapon up to 90 because you can see there's a much bigger sort of boost here. Of course, still diminishing returns, but I think it's more worth it for weapons. So we're gonna go with this team, has all the recommended elements there also anyway, but this is, I think, kind of her main party anyway. Oh yeah, Geo Traveler apparently can uh, do a little speed run skip here. I did that last time, but I didn't see uh, a big enough skip to, to really specifically bring him for it oh no we don't have any bow users uh don't do that don't do that mr ruin guard just die real quick please no okay <laughs> doing pretty well so far i think she did also get to air 50 really quick um so her artifact uh, selections aren't the best right now but uh, we'll get into all that a little bit as well oh -ho! All right, we made it to the cube. World level seven. I gotta say that was easier with uh, Bones 2 account than it was with my own when I first did this. I forgot when she actually started this account, so I wanna give that a look. Obtain the power of Animo 0708. A little over a month and a half it seems, which does sound fast to me to get to air 50. But anyway, now that we're actually level 50, let's go ahead and start with uh, her summons. You know it's Bones, you know she gets incredibly lucky. I wasn't able to capture all of her summons. Sometimes she just does it whenever she wants to, which is perfectly fine. I was able to capture some of it though. Last time we talked about her summons, I believe she got like a Mona and then Ayaka and then like her, Ayaka's weapon, all within a pretty small amount of pulls considering. And then she wanted Yoimiya. She did like a single tin pull on Yoimiya, got a five star. It wasn't Yoimiya, but it was Kaching, which she wasn't disappointed about either. She likes Kaching. And that means, you know, since she lost the 50-50, the next 5 star is going to be Yoimiya. Of course, on her very next tin pull was another 5 star. And then that was Yoimiya, naturally. She also did do one tin pull on the weapon banner and got a 5 star. This unfortunately was not Thundering Pulse, but it was Ammo's Bow. Which, while she doesn't have Ganyu, I'd say it's a pretty good bow for Yoimiya as well. Um, not the best, obviously. But she also doesn't have any rust, not a single one, let alone an R5 rust. So it's going to be better than anything else she had. So she decided to uh, be happy with that and stop there. Later on, she went ahead and decided to do another tin pull. I did not capture this one. Uh, so we actually have to go into history to see this. Uh, but right after that, she got a gene. So again, uh, losing the 50-50. But I don't think she was actually going for another Yoimiya. Because, I don't know, C1 Yoimiya doesn't sound that good to me. Maybe she was just trying to preemptively get closer to ball. And she did, in fact, you know, lose a 50-50 here. So next guaranteed character is going to be... Uh, ball when she comes around um, but as you can see Jean here going one page back there's Yoimiya <laughs> and then going a couple more pages back we have Kachin here so three tin pulls three five stars I don't know how Bones does it I think I think she sucks all the luck out of my game and gives it to herself or maybe she sucks the luck out of everyone's game I don't know man I don't know just a theory so taking a look at her character archive you know she is obviously missing a lot of characters but this is a one and a half month old account. So she has all the new ones, Kazuha, Ayaka, Yoimiya. Some of the ones you can get if you lose the 50-50, Jean, Mona, Kaching, only missing Diluc and Chichi out of those. So yeah, six five stars. And if I remember right, she also has a C1 Ayaka. 
Does she? She, she yeah, she has a C1 Ayaka. Okay. So technically seven five stars. And the craziest part is her one and a half month old account has a higher constellation Yinfei than I do. Yinfei has had two banners. I summoned at least like 200 times on each of those and maybe I have a C3. I forgot. I don't care anymore because I, I just want to wipe it from my memory. But yeah, she has C3. I, I don't know where she even got those, but whatever. <laughs> she hasn't gotten around to raising Mona, of course. She doesn't really like Mona that much. Uh, I think she is planning on raising Kaching soon, but Jean, I'm not really sure about. C2 Changyun. Uh, Diona can go to C2 there. C1 Sucrose. What? C5 Ningguang? Where? Also a higher Ningguang than my main account. Seriously? She just needs one more Ningguang. Oh my god, I'm actually kind of jealous. C1 Noel. C2 Rosaria. Of course, the C3 Yinfei. C4 Razor. C1 Benny. Unfortunately, C0 Water Dude. So uh, she'll probably want to do some summons when he comes back in whatever banner. Um, but yeah, C1, Benny. I think C1's like the most important. But yeah, her main DPS, her pride and joy on Bones 2 is Ayaka. Actually quite a good build considering how new the account is. You know, she hasn't had too much uh, resin to spend in artifact domains. But uh, she is going Blizzard Strayer set, 28 crit rate, which I think is enough for that set. 160 crit damage, 81 cryo damage bonus. We can just take a look at the artifacts here real quick. Oh yeah, she has also had some godly luck with artifacts. I'm not sure which ones, but I've seen some crazy rolls already. There's also a not a plus 20 yet, probably because it's not that great. Yeah, this one's decent though. You know, got a little crit rate there. A lot of energy recharge, some attack. 20 crit damage on the sands. That's already really lucky. I mean, she probably has like what? Three sands total? <laughs> Four sands, and this was one of them. Actually, I would definitely use this. And then this, oh, attack circlet, interesting. Oh yeah, this attack circlet with its 20% crit rate substat. That's right. I think I showed this off when I, when I first went over Bones account. A 20% crit rate, you know, crit rate, insane. So I told her, I was just like, you know, keep that for now. Cause like, that's almost as much as you get with the main stat. <laughs> The Cryo Goblet, obviously not that great. She has a very small selection, as you can see here. But I mean, yeah, looking at the attributes, you know, 2400 attack, that's quite a lot. She's definitely doing some pretty solid damage, just needs a bit of work with those artifacts. I believe she's also planning on getting her talents up a little bit more, currently at 778. She also has her priorities right, also has a level 8 talent for a fantastic voyage for her Benny here. I believe his base attack isn't that great right now. Uh, 666, which I don't think is actually that bad. She just gave him whatever highest base attack sword she had, I believe. Of course, besides Miss Splitter, but <laughs> wouldn't do that just for the base attack. I believe she actually has full emblem on her uh, water dude. Oh no, not yet, but I believe she is planning on doing that. I hadn't really thought about it, but yeah. Emblem water dude would be pretty interesting for sure. Cause like he needs a lot of energy recharge anyway and his ult is so strong. So four piece emblem increasing his ult damage by 25% of his energy recharge. I was mainly thinking of Mona when it came to this set but I think he is a really good con contender as well. Just needs a few more runs. She already has some pretty decent ones here. A lot of elements of mastery and a lot of crit damage on this one and attack. Kazuha was her first five star. She actually started right when his banner was about to end or maybe there's a week or two left, whatever. Uh, just got him in full VR Descent, but uh, they're all still pretty low level, as you can see. Six or 12, there's 116. So he obviously needs a lot of work in the artifact department, but he does have 463 elements mastery already. Yoimiya is currently built two-piece Crimson, two-piece Shimanawa, which if you're gonna be taking advantage of her ult, is uh, I think the preferable set, although I still rock full Shimanawa because I don't care about her ult very much. Uh, I think she did get some pretty good luck with Shimanawa pieces as well. A lot of elements mastery, which I believe is really important for Yoimiya. Uh, crit damage, energy recharge. And this one I was really jealous of. It's it's an attack sands, which took me forever to get a bad one, you know? And this one's better than mine. 37 EM, 6.2 crit rate, 17.5 energy recharge, didn't even touch death. She is currently rocking the ammo's bow, which again, I don't think she, she even has a rust. No, very, very limited bows here. She is also planning on raising Yinfei at one point I guess not a massive priority I'm not sure what her immediate plans are though but uh, let's go try and do something with her team I don't know about rock frog you know we are air 50 now and he's gonna be harder but let's give it a try I guess let's try and do her rock frog because I know she does want to raise Ayaka skills but she doesn't have any of the you know weekly boss mats to do so Ooh, and that's kind of bad cryo 
and Pyro. But yeah, this is the first time doing Earth Shaking Dragon 4, so let's give it a try. Probably just gonna go with her main team here. I think it's a good team. I think not having shields for Rock Frog is gonna be a problem. We are we're gonna try it anyway, though. I always have Zhongli here, so I don't even think about it. He's going underground. I just want to get Ay Ay Ayaka's burst real quick. Hurry up, please. All right, he's going into the power of Pyro. Got to run away for, from those stomps. We do have her burst now, so that's something. So hopefully he doesn't move much. We're just going to get everyone's ult. Oh, God. Here real quick. Oh, man, that's going to take a while. Oh, that's not good. Oh, no. Hurry up, Benny, Benny, Benny. Hurry, no. All right, here we go. Ult. Okay, he's going into cryo now. Oh, but Ayaka is burning. Oh, that's bad, and I can't get rid of it. Okay, that's gone at least. Usually, I'm going to go attack his tail until he's dead now, but for this case, I think we're going to play it normally. Oh, no. I think we're toast. Yeah. All right, we're going to try again with a shield this time. I also forgot food is an option, so that would have helped. Who do we got? Level 40 Noel or level 1 Diona, I guess, are our only options. All right, going back into Pyro, we have everyone's ult ready, so that should help a little bit. Okay, I don't know why um, that didn't help. <laughs> Noel's shield didn't help at all. Going into Cryo now, but we're not really in a better spot than we were before, honestly. Not Ayaka, no! Not what the f- Why are you getting one shot? What is this crap? Oh my god, no, this is impossible. What the f- Gonna try again with Kazuha. Back into Pyro, let's see if we can go into Cryo without already being mostly dead. Going into Cryo, I think we're doing okay so far. No one's dead, at least. Ah! Ayaka, please survive! Wait. Oh! Oh no. Get out! Oh no! Oh my god! <laughs> they just get shredded so fast. I think he's gonna start stomping again. Get out. Oh, and we have the marker. That hit? Oh, no. What? No. Switch. Switch. What is he doing? Okay, I give up. You need a shield character, Bones. I know I soloed it with Binny already, but um, uh, your Binny I don't think has enough energy recharge either. Well, we're trying with food buffs this time. Not sure how much it's going to help, but we'll see. Well, the pyro phase didn't last very long. Our poor Kazuha is almost dead. And we're almost out of food, so... <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Everyone just dies instantly. <laughs> it's like as soon as you swap to them, they're dead. It's insane. <laughs> no! No! I give up. I give up. I can't do it anymore. It's Alright, but that was Bones 2 account review. Um, very lucky with summons as usual. God. Stupid rock frog. Thanks as always for watching, guys. No, you know what? I cannot let that rock frog live, but I also don't have the patience to keep trying on Bones' account. So I've joined Bones 2. I'm gonna kill that son of a- Oh, you are so dead. You are so dead. You think you can just bully poor Bones the second? No. Die! Die! In fact, Bones, you can just stand- Stand back and watch as the revenge unfolds. He's going into cryo, and honestly, I'm not feeling too healthy right now, but I think we can still do it. This time, just to disrespect you, I am going to attempt to kill you at your tail. This is for all the times you killed Bones 2. Get out of here. There you go, Bones 2. We have enacted our revenge. Very welcome, Bones. This was more for my pleasure than yours. <laughs> that is a sad. But yeah, I suppose that'll do it for today's video. Make sure to tell me anything in the comments down below. Dropping a like on this video if you didn't do enjoy is always greatly appreciated as well. Thanks, as always, for watching, and until next time.